Hi, my name is Charles Malky, biologist and plant expert with Ivory Organics, where we grow cool plants and author of Saving the World with the Home Garden. And today we're here with none other than Judy Frankel, who we've been doing a ton of educational content over the last many years. And thank you so very much, Judy. Thank you, Charles. For being here with us today. We're going to do a quick garden tour, highlighting some of the amazing things that are grown here in the property. And then I'm going to share with you some of the highlights, which include as we've just concluded, um, probably a word you've never heard of, which was a whole topic on intentional communities. I highly encourage you guys to check it out so you learn the value of growing your own food and working with your community to accomplish the goal. We also discussed in the past the impacts of 5G on bees, birds, trees, and people, how gardening can improve your physical and mental health. We also did a Q&A, which included planting to the lunar cycle how to choose clean and sharpen gardening tools, tomato planting tips by judyshomegrown.com with determinate and indeterminate varieties. I wanna share a little bit more about Judy before we start the tour so you understand just how impactful and important she is here as a resource in the Los Angeles County area. Specifically, Judy Frankel is a master gardener who's also known as the fruit tree lady. She helps homeowners in Southern California set up vegetable gardens, choose the best fruit trees that ripen throughout the year, and prunes, trains, fertilizes roses, fruit trees, and vineyards for maximum food production. She frequently speaks about the future of food, fruit tree plantings, secret of soil, terrific tomatoes, and how to grow a vegetable garden. Her mission is to heal the world through small gardening acts of kindness, care, and beauty. When not gardening, Judy is an activist, educating others on the effects of 5G on people and the environment, writing and speaking out against GMOs, glyphosates such as Roundup and Terminator seeds. She connects the dots between the use of agricultural herbicides and the rising incidences of neurological and gastrointestinal disorders in the United States. To be connected to Judy Frankel, simply go to judyshomegrown.com. I'm putting that video link in the video description below for your convenience. You can simply hit it and start communicating with her. Any questions or suggestions you have for future content, feel free to write us in the video description below. We'd love to hear from you and where you're at. And um, let's start the garden tour. All right. Let's do it. So here we are next to, it looks like one of your um, several raised beds. Here it is made out of metal. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, I was having problems with all of my raised beds getting uh, gophers to come up and even, even really tall ones. And they were, they were chewing right through the hardware cloth believe it or not. Wow. And they weren't even old hardware cloth. And I put down two layers of hardware cloth. They would jump up over these beds. These beds behind you are, are really short. So they can hop out of the ground at least two feet. That's why I'm saying you have to have tall beds. But on top of that, I just decided, okay, how can, what is it that they can't get through? So I put cinder block on the bottom of these beds to prevent gophers from coming in. And I know this is like impervious to gophers. They're not gonna jump up 32 inches out of the ground and get into these. So I think it's essential if you're gonna start a garden to know that there has to be something porous at the bottom of it that's gonna prevent a gopher from getting in. Absolutely, so you still got drainage going through the cinder blocks. Even the water can go through the block and obviously there's cracks. You haven't right. completely cemented this in <laughs> so that water can even go through the cracks of each of the blocks as well. Right. Perfect. So here we are now on Judy's homegrown estate on the hillside property using a product known as Dirt Lockers. And when you take a look at the product, you'll see that it's basically helping to shore up and retain the hillside and is helping you maximize the real estate for productivity of food. And um, you said you've increased your real estate by what percent? I would say 30% of my food is grown out here now. So about 30% additional landscape benefit to her homestead with the use of dirt lockers. How awesome is that? So check this out. So you've taken a piece of citrus, you've cut it in half, and your goal is to attract sow bugs. But sow bugs, one, also known as roly polies. Roly polies, yeah. And I saw on this bugs. one, you had about like four or five, five of, of them, them on there. Yeah. And you just basically, oh, here it is again. So most of you probably know this as roly polies and she just takes it off to the side 
and now it's outside of the, the bed a little. So this draws the roly polies or the saw bugs away from your plants. Right. And otherwise, so they go for these, um, you know, the tender new growth on your seedling starters. Check out this Hass avocado tree. It's so beautiful. And Charles was here when this thing was burned up by the weather. It was just decimated by some hot weather and maybe I didn't get out of here fast enough to water <laughs> it. Uh, anyway, it's doing amazing. And part of that is Ivy Organics. It has no deficiencies anywhere. <laughs> Look at this tree, it's just loving it here. Yeah, this is a super happy avocado tree. I'm so happy that we've been a part of your growing success. And I'm gonna share with you just a few clips from the past where you'll see where we whitewashed it organically using the Ivory Organics 3 one plant guard to basically protect your tree from the damaging summer sunburn rays. Um, just like our skin, if we're at laying out at the beach for 14 hours, we're gonna cook and that's what was happening to this tree before protecting the tree trunk and lower branches and then we've been fertilizing it with the Ivory Organics all-purpose um, fertilizer that gives your plants all six plant macronutrients. And I just check out all of this fruit. Yeah, but also look at the tree. It still has some of the Ivory Organics on it. And that's from about two and a half years ago. Yeah, it's amazing. And that is, look at how healthy the, the growth is coming right off of that part that we, we painted. <laughs> how many fruit would you say are in here? Oh, geez, probably... Uh, 150 maybe? Wow. So 150 times what? Is it a dollar or like three dollars oh, a piece? Right. <laughs> Nowadays. Just spent a few minutes walking around Judy's homegrown estate and we've got our hands on some Hass avocados some reed avocados, sugar snap peas, broccoli, lemons, limes, oranges, and so much more to go. Thank you so very much for having us. We hope this inspires you to grow your own food and get involved within your community as well in growing some food as well. As always, if you found this lesson informative and educational, give us that thumbs up. Share us with your gardening friends and family. I'm also gonna be putting the link to judyshomegrown.com in the video description below so you're connected with our dear friend of many years and hopefully you'll continuously be educated and inspired to continuously be your best self and to make this your best growing season year after year. As always, keep growing with Ivory Organics and wishing you all happy gardening.